Yeet. Starting very soon, guys. Hello there guys, my name is ESO and welcome back to a live stream walkthrough of The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, the Dragonborn DLC, which I'm super excited about and I know you guys are as well, because this is like the most requested walkthrough you wanted for the last couple of years, I think, since Skyrim Special Edition came out. And the reason that it's taken so long is because... Well, I just kind of wanted to forget the storyline a bit and wait a few years before playing it again so I could, like, go and actually enjoy it with you guys instead of just forcing myself to play through it. And who better to partake this adventure with than Lydia, my babe? Hell yeah, Lydia. There's a chicken behind you, Lydia. If we kill that chicken, Lydia will proceed to kill the entire local populace of villagers. Because she's a crazy bitch like that. Alright. Oh god, I probably just demonetized the video already. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> so guys, what I've what I've done is I've basically, as you know from the main quest line, if you if you watch that, we've already semi-started the Dragonborn quest line. Basically, what will happen once you get to a certain level, you'll get attacked by a bunch of cultists sent from Mirak. Mirak, the uh, the last Dragonborn. He's basically challenging, saying he's he's the stronger Dragonborn. So we ne now need to travel to Solfheim, which is an island to the north of Morrowind, somewhere over here to the north of Skyrim in the Sea of Ghosts. Uh, and the way we do that is we come over to Windhelm, which is just here on the map. Let me show you. And you can do this even before the cultists have attacked you. And you can go to the man we're about to visit, and he will take you to that island. You don't have to pay him a fee, you can just intimidate him, which we'll probably do. Wow, how is this the first time in the game I've discovered Windhelm Docks? Hmm, interesting. And guys, I just want to say a big thank you. Can we get a hashtag moderators thank you in the chat? Because I know, I think, I think about three of my mods who are going to be here on this stream are literally up at like 1am in the morning moderating. So a massive thank you to them. I literally couldn't do this without you guys, so thank you so much. Okay, I'm just going to pause the game here, and I'm going to move the OBS window so I can see the chat. Thank you for the subscription, guys, and thanks for the donations there on YouTube. really do appreciate that. My last live stream was, uh, was actually claimed with the adverts by a company that claimed that they own the music in the video, but it's all owned by Bethesda and Jeremy Soule, the composer. I even, like, messaged him on Twitter, and he's like... Yeah, I don't know what that company is. They literally, like, claim my videos for the music and take the money. So, you know, I appreciate all the support on Patreon and all that stuff, guys. <sighs> if you follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated about how that's going. But let's talk to the ship hand here. To hire a boat? I am looking to hire a boat. If you're looking for passage to Solstheim, too bad. I'm not going back there anymore. Are you sure about that, my friends? What's happened? Why won't you go back? It's hard to explain. I remember those people with the masks coming on board. Then, the next thing I remember, I was here. And they were gone. And 
That's not right, losing whole days like that. There's been something strange going on there for a while. But after this, I'm done. I'm not going back to Solstein. So he was the one who transported the cultists to kill us. All he knows is that he woke up and his butthole really hurt and he just ended up here in Skyrim. Well, my friend, you are taking me back. You are taking me to Solstheim. Have you been listening to me? I'm not going back there. I'll pay double your usual rate, 500 gold. You own me, those cultists brought, you brought here tried to kill me. People are trying to kill me. I'm not taking no for an answer. I'm a scary kitty cat, so I'm going to intimidate him. Hold on now. I'm just a simple sailor. I never wanted to get mixed up in any of this. All right, I'll take you. But we leave immediately. All right, let's go. Thank you, Rick and Sir Henry for the donations. Yes, get those hashtag mods in the chat. Oh, guys, I've got some good news. So, I, I made some new merchandise. It's been out for a while, but some people haven't noticed. It's a t-shirt that has detected on the front, and then on the back, it has hidden. I don't know if you can even see it, but it's a cool t-shirt. You can check it out on the merch store, linked down below. So here we are, the island of Solfheim. This was like my... This was the last DLC that came out for Skyrim, and I remember well, this moment being so epic. This is Raven Rock. Can't say I'm all that glad to see it again. Good luck. Maybe you can figure out what's going on around here. Maybe I can. Thank you, MC Meshurma. How do I say this name? Thanks for doing the quest line. No problem, man. You guys have been requesting it for so long. It's about time. Oh, well, that's a bug. <laughs> That's actually a bug from the original game as well. All right, so we're here. I don't recognize you. So I'll assume this is your first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. State your intentions. I intend to find Mirak. Mirak, I... I'm not sure. Who do I do? Just remember, Ravenrock is sovereign territory of House Rhetoric. This is Morrowind, not Skyrim. While you're here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Any questions? Let me see if I can turn up the volume a bit. Is that better for you guys? Can you hear it okay? Or am I too loud? Let me know. If the sound needs adjusting. Yeah, he does know who Mirak is. That massive pause was a dead giveaway. I... I'm unsure. I swear I know the name, but I cannot place it. Can you tell me anything about him? I don't think so. I'm not. The, the name has something to do with the Earthstone. I'm not sure what. Well, you're super useful. Why are you so suspicious of visitors anyway? I have to be. A second counselor, the security of Raven Rock is my primary concern. Has the security been an issue? This isn't exactly the city of Blacklight. We're on the frontier. Out here, we've had more than a fair share of troubles. After all we've been through together, I refuse to let Councillor Morvain down. What does your title mean, anyway? Councillor Morvain is House Redoran's representative on Solstein. As second councillor, it's my job to support him and make certain his rule is enforced. Guys, you, you are going crazy with the donations. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, Adam. Thanks, Taser. Ravenstar, thank you. The Goat, thank you so much, guys. Ravenrock is purely a Dunder settlement, though. Ravenrock started out as an Imperial settlement. The Empire decided to abandon it, just as my people were first setting foot here. They left the town a shambles. But when House Redoran took over, we turned it around and it became ours. So you stole it then. And even if it's been a struggle to make this island livable, we're proud to call it home. I cannot continue this conversation with this man continuously hammering this. What are you even doing? Before you even ask, yes. 
And this guy's hammering a barrel? I'm going to leave you alone now. Alright, let's head over to the Earthstone. I believe that is where we're going to find some more information out about Mirak. Your beard is amazing. Thank you so much. You know, this beard might have actually got me a sponsorship, which I'm quite excited about. So we'll see in the coming weeks what's happened. I love Solfheim. It's just such a different atmosphere compared to like the rest of Skyrim. They really nailed it. So this is the Earth Stone. seem to be in quite the same state as the others here. Very interesting. May I ask what it is you're doing here? Thank you for subscribing! I'm looking for someone named Mirak. Mirak, Mirak. It sounds familiar, and yet I can't quite place... Oh, wait, I recall. That makes very little sense. Mirak's been dead for thousands of years. Oh. Ignore that graphical error. What does that mean exactly? He's been dead. I'm not sure, but it is fascinating, isn't it? Perhaps it has some relation to what's going on here. Quite unexpected. I'm afraid I can't give you any answers, but there are ruins of an ancient temple of Mirax toward the center of the island. If I were you, I'd look there. Okay, so there's some temples in the center of the island. And what exactly are these people doing? There's even a guard in the background hammering some rocks over there. Building something, clearly. And yet they don't seem to have much to say about it. I'm very interested to find out what happens when they finish. That is creepy, isn't it? Have you tried to stop this? Certainly not. Doing so would interfere with whatever is going on. And I would be unable to see Spoken like a true mage. What can you tell me about Morrowind? It is the only place where silt striders can be found. Although I managed to transplant a few here when I arrived. Oh, so that's why there are silt striders here. Red Mountain dominates the island. Every now and then, here in from an eruption. You can see the Red Mountain there still erupting. In fact, most of the people coming over from... Okay, so this is the map of Solfheim. Most of the people coming over from Skyrim are talking about the Red Mountain. There's actually like a secret cave that takes you from Skyrim to Morrowind through the mountains. Which I did a video on ages ago. I think if you search into YouTube, you'll find it if you are interested. But yeah, some people are saying, don't touch the stone. So as you can see, it's like half five right now. And if I touch this stone... That we might remember... The yeah, game freezes. And then we can hear Mirak's voice. And clearly, you can see some time's passed there. Ten minutes we've been working on this statue. But maybe we can resist it, unlike the other people, because we're also a dragonborn. But it's the stone still takes hold of us, whatever spell it... <laughs> this guy's worshipping it here. Whatever spell is holding over these people, we need to investigate further. So... We look on the map here we can find the temple of mirak i'm actually going to walk over there i did previously use console commands to unlock all the map markers though for other guide videos i was working on when you've played skyrim a thousand times you can't be bothered to search for every single map marker all right let's head over lydia start our adventure in fact i'll show you a unique weapon you can grab on the way you can also pick up a ancient nordic pickaxe by doing the quest from this guy which we mm, maybe we could do it now no i won't i won't do it yet we're not gonna do it yet let's carry on with the main quest first thank you skyforge master for the donation you love your vids always cheer me up on a bad day and give me different ideas for my game awesome man makes me want to make a new build video that's a bit out there actually like common it's been a while so down here, we should meet the captain of the guard being wrecked by some ash spawn in the distance there. Let's see if we can get up on the hill here and snipe some of them. Oh yes, get wrecked. 
Oh, mate. Lydia is not as accurate as I am. It's on expert difficulty, so yes, before you ask. I might have to get a bit closer, otherwise we're going to be here all day. But that's a sneak attack, which is slightly worrying. Get Rex on. Oh, Lydia, I wanted the kill cam. How dare you? Increase the game volume. Okay. I think what I can do is I can turn down my volume. Like so. And then the game volume is going to be higher. Because otherwise, um, yeah, I can't really increase it that much more. Let me just increase the volume a bit more. So. Oh, God. 1,500 people watching. Thanks, guys. Let's put it on 780. 80. That's going to blow my eardrums up. Hell yeah. Let's do it, guys. Let me know how the volume is now. Thanks for the donation, by the to tell me that for you. Right, let's speak to the captain. Thanks. I wasn't sure I'd make it off this farm alive. I wish I could have said the same for my man here. What are those things? Some of the Redoran Guard have taken to calling them Ash Spawn. Me, I don't care what they're called. All I know is they're a danger to Raven Rock and they need to be stopped. Turn your voice up, okay. I will do that. I was going to search for clues that might... I know which is the best place to start, but we know they've been coming from this direction. Okay. Is that better? Okay, now, now they're about equal. I'm a little bit louder than the game, which is always good. I always like to talk over the chat. Okay, so he's, he's given us a quest to uh, help him out with the Ashbourne at the local castle. But we need to go elsewhere, my friends. To the Temple of Mirak for more pressing matters. Let's have a look where we are here. Volume is such low. Okay, I'm too quiet. Can you hear me now? There's a slight delay in the chat, so... Game's fine. Voice up. Okay. Is it good? Let me know if it's, like, good now. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. It's good now. Good. You see, that? there's, like, a 30-second delay. All right. There's actually a secret trap door in this location, but we're not going there yet, my friends. Let's go past... Yeah, let's go up here. To Mirax Temple. What's actually the time? It's half six. At night. You might wait until daytime because exploring at night is just dark and depressing. There's always like a constant overcast on Solfheim usually because of all the ash from Morrowind. Should have brought my horse, Lydia. Instead I brought you and you're useless. Huh? Oh, an ash hopper. Look out, Lydia. Jesus Christ. Where's the unrelenting force shout? Let's send these small critters. Oh my god, it instantly kills them? It literally just flattened them. I did not know about this. Let me zoom out a bit from third person. There we go. Can you even Skyrim without Lydia? Exactly. It's so true. I am on PC using a controller. Yeah, I just prefer controllers, really. Uh, unless I'm playing, like, a FPS game, then, you know, mouse and keyboard obviously is much better, but otherwise controller is just much more relaxing to, to play with, in my opinion. Okay, we can see the Temple of Mirak at the top of that mountain over there. There is a unique weapon on the left here. At this location. I just wanted to approach from this side so we can snipe the bandit leader who I believe is in the tent there. Lydia, why is there combat music playing? There's there's enemies nearby. Oh, what's that? Lydia's being attacked by something. What is that? An Ashbourne? Yeah. Get over here, you fool. Oh no, it's a uh, Spriggan. A burnt Sprigger.
Get Rex some. Look how many arrows it takes. Oh my god, Lydia, are you okay? Jesus Christ. Bloody thing exploded. I'm gonna eat that raw later. She's gonna chew on the bar. Oh no. You've triggered the bandits. Oh, I paralyzed the Reaver Lord. That's good. Oh my god, look at this luck. Everyone gets paralyzed. Hell yeah. Go on, Lydia. Take her out. Jesus Christ, that was an axe right to her shoulder. I'm surprised it didn't chop off her bloody arm. Haha, -ha, paralysis is OP. We don't want this guy to come up to us because otherwise we're going to have a bad time. Lydia just pounding the crap out of this bandit leader. Get Rex on. I believe he has the uh, unique weapon on him. And 250 gold. Don't mind if I do, mate. Stormfang, the unique weapon. Target takes 30 points of shock damage and half as much magicka damage. Very good weapon. This is actually the best two-handed sword you can get at the start of the game if you come straight over here to the Dragonborn DLC. I, however, I'm going to leave it there because I care not for such trivial bandit weaponry. So we've cleared this location. As you can see, it used to be like they've been like looting from the uh, East Empire Company. I think there is actually a unique East Empire Company pendant. Yes. Aha. Lock picking. Here we go, guys. Oh, God damn. <laughs> if you're new here to watching my videos... Oh, my God. That's never happened before. I was about to say how bad I am at lockpicking, but I clearly jinxed it. We can sell those for like 500 gold each, so we might as well grab them. And there's a, a boss chest. With some crap items. If you do want these to respawn, uh, take everything out of it, by the way. Um, Todd Howard. Haha, -ha, you thought you could get me, Todd Howard. Think again. That bear trap. What's this? Heartstone. Ah, yes, Heartstones. I remember back when I made some guides on Heartstones in Dragonborn DLC. That was back when I used to do text-based videos. I never used to show my face. I got to 200,000 subscribers of text-based video, guys. See, you can do anything. If I can do it, you can do it. That was back when, you know, no one else was doing text-based videos on YouTube. Somehow it worked, though. If you believe it, you can do it. As long as you've got something, like, interesting and useful to say and a guide to make, people will watch it. I love when you stream Skyrim and if I ask when what's your upload speed because I live in the UK and the internet sucks really bad yeah I li also live in the UK I literally had to move house because the internet was so bad um, but here it's it's good I'm actually I've, I've just put a deposit down on my own house which I'm super excited about by the way guys so this is the temple of Merrick as you can see everyone's chanting and working hard on it for some reason we don't really know what's going on though um, yeah, so I actually put a deposit down on my own house, guys, which is an amazing thing. So, you know, I've been doing YouTube for like eight years or so now and finally got to that point where I can afford a mortgage. So, um, it means a lot to me. I can finally, you know, soundproof a room without, you know, that I'm not renting. So, it's a good feeling. There's a lot of dark elves here. And Freya, who is apparently stronger than everyone else, is here preaching. Let's let's whip out a torch, because it's getting quite late now, and then we can have a chat with Freya and see what she wants. Do I have a torch? Yes. We must leave Isra. Can you hear me? You must leave this place. She can't hear you, mate. You must fight against what is controlling. You must listen to me. She's, she doesn't Isra, care. I'm here. You must. You must. We must. Isra, okay, she doesn't want to talk yet. You hear me? You must okay, now she wants to talk. I just had to walk five meters. There. there we go. What brings you to this place? Why are you here? Who are you? <laughs> She's like, why are you here? Who are you? And I'm like, who are you? <laughs> Tell me first. I am Freya of the Scar. I am here to either save my people or... Avenge them. 
Save them from what? I am unsure. Something has taken control of most of the people of Solstein. It makes them forget themselves and work on these horrible creations that corrupt the stones, the very land itself. My father Storm, our shaman, says Mirak has returned to Solstein, but that is impossible. I love the accent. Mirak tried to have me killed. So he must be alive then. Then you and I both have reason to see what lies beneath us. Let us go. There is nothing more I can do here. The tree stone and my friends are beyond my help for now. We need to find a way into the temple below. I think I hear a secret passage opening conveniently behind me. What is the tree stone? Oh, Rick, thanks for the $20 donation. Shout out to... Grandma. <laughs> and thank you, bro, uh, for the other $5 donation. Um, the hardest build I've ever made? I don't know, man. It would probably be one to do with enchanting. Like, the slow time shout one is quite hard to set up if you're, like, new to the game. What do you know? Oh, Jesus. Why am I getting attacked? By the Maker. Jesus Christ, Lydia. We're being attacked. Let me get my bow out. <laughs> I like how she's like, By the All Maker. Where's, where's my bow? Here it is. I'm going to put on some resist fire. Yeah, there we go. That will sort out these silly cultists. Kill them all! They're running away from us, Lydia. I'm going to make it daytime soon because this is super dark. I can't see anything. Get Rex, cultist. Oh, headshot. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm gonna wait until daytime now. I know we're going inside anyway, but I prefer it when it's daytime. I've got like the super dark mods on, which look amazing, but for you watching, it doesn't look very good. So <laughs> let's make it daytime. Thank you for the 1000 bits, Thief Chris. I'm glad you could catch the live stream. So, these are the, the cultist rows, which look pretty awesome. I always used to love the look of these, but, like, they're just not very good. Unless you want to pick them up and sell them just because of the enchantment. It makes it quite valuable. Alright. Where's she gone? I was going to ask her some questions before we got attacked. Is she downstairs now? Alright. Go into the temple of Mirak. Yeah, orcs are definitely the best race in terms of damage. Unless you're doing an unarmed level 1 Khajiit build, then you actually win. The evil in this place must be rooted out. What do you know about Mirak? His story is as old as Saul's time itself. He served the dragons before their fall from power, as most did. A priest in their order. But unlike most, he turned against them. He made his own path, and his actions cost him dearly. The stories say he sought to claim Solstein for himself, and the dragons destroyed him for it. Tell me of your people, the Skal. We have lived on Solstein for many generations. Our people are tied to the land itself. We try to serve the All-Maker, to live in balance with nature, instead of exploiting it as others would. So you're a hippie tree hugger. You're here by yourself. Oh, Flirtatious, the Dragonborn. There are few of us left unaffected by this curse. My father Storm, the Shaman, protects them in the village. I fashioned an amulet to guard me against whatever has taken hold of the skull, but it is the only one of its kind. If I cannot find a way to save them, there is no hope for our people. Rip the skull, guys. Thank you, Ragnar, we for the bits. What is at work here. I love that name, by the way. Are you ready to help me now? We should not delay. Apparently, you're following me anyway, so. Oh, supplies. Vigorous potion of stamina. Lydia, you don't need to push me out of the way, man. Jesus Christ. 
She's just jealous of Frigga. She wants my attention constantly. Get out of my way, Lydia. Jesus. Oh my god. What kind of graphic imagery is this? Your gold is now mine. I wish you could eat them as well. That'd be fun. Anything in here? A chest. An ebony helmet. Maybe we could cover up Lydia's ugly face with that. I've got two whammon following me. I'm I'm a, a a kitty cat player. Look at them. There they are. All the whammon want a car the Khajiit. Oh Jesus! There's a cultist. Lydia, look out! You can't see me. Ha ha! Oh my God! Look at her. She's a savage Viking. Get out of the way. Aha! Paralysis. Why is my paralysis procking every few seconds? But you left me with no chance. Give me my steel arrow back. Ha ha! We must be careful in these rooms. Traps can be anywhere, and there will likely be many. Mirak was trying to take power here, and protect himself in the process. That's for you, Lydia. She's talking about traps because you keep bloody stepping on them. Guarantee there's going to be a pressure plate right here. Somewhere. I'm ready for you, cultists. I don't even know why I'm picking up those potions. They just weigh 0 0.5 and I don't need them. Oh, I hear something up there. I think we're good. There's a lot of dust. Oh, hello there. Get wrecked, son. Get wrecked, son. Oh my god, it went through him. My, my sneaky Khajiit skills are too strong. Get in the fire. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of cultists down here. I think I've triggered everything in this room at once. Watch out, Lydia. Oh yes, there we go. Full damage is like the best kind of damage in Skyrim. It does so much damage, it's ridiculous. If you can like fire something off a cliff, it's like it wrecks it. Can't even see, there's so much fire. Look at this cultist moonwalking past us all. Oh, Lydia. Oh my god, how much damage does Lydia do? She does more damage than me. Jesus, Lydia. You savage. Get wrecked. I'm going to burn through these steel arrows pretty quickly. Aha, we've killed the Death Lord. Honed Ancient Nordic Greatsword. Sounds like a pretty great sword, guys. Phosphor Dar, indeed. It's like the best shot in the game, man. Oh, hello there. How did you get down there? Get wrecked. Let's save the game quickly. Okay. Activate. I love the smell of burning fur in the morning. Sneaky, sneaky. Lydia, you always have a bad feeling, but this time I actually agree. Aha. You're an imposter. An imposter, I say. Wait. Is there someone behind me? Oh, Jesus Christ, Lydia. <laughs> Woo! It's right behind you. I like how she's even like, where did you come from? <laughs> Get wrecked. I'll let my whammon beat you up, man. Hell yeah. Thank you for becoming a member. 
Waziniyi. Yi. Is that how I say your name, or did I butcher it completely? I, am, I apologize a thousand times if I did. We can now use emotes. We have some awesome emotes that are unique to the channel. Oh, I can hear, I can hear some, some drama. Oh, it's behind me. Get wrecked. Finish it, Lydia. Finish it, Lydia. Finish it. Come on, Lydia. Come on. Do some. Oh my god, I'm gonna finish it for you. Get wrecked. What happened to you? Why are you like so frosty? What the hell? Is that um, the spell she's used? I didn't know you were a mage. Interesting. A treasure chest. Did you guys get triggered that I just leave everything? Oh, there's a trap here. Okay, come on, Lydia. Oh, wow, Lydia. Good job. Ideally, we should backtrack and use the trap to kill them all, but my party are not... <laughs> He's paralyzed but still standing. Lol. That's great. Lydia, please. GTFO. Get out of my way. Oh my god, did you see it stand up? That was hilarious. There's so many of them. Haha, -ha, get wrecked. It's interesting that they don't attack the dragon cultists. It's like the only people who could actually come down here without um, triggering them. Get wrecked, son. It's not ended yet. Look at this Draga. He's just standing there, minding his, own, minding his own business. Get wrecked, son. Boom. Wait, he's still alive? Jesus Christ. There was no other way. There was no other way. ESO, what's happened, mate? Happy American Rebellion Day. Two days post. Two days post. American Rebellion Day? I didn't even know that was a thing. I swear you guys have a day for everything. I will celebrate this day. How do you even celebrate that day? Do you like... Oh, get wrecked, son. Oh, Lydia, you beat me to it. God damn. 17 ancient Nordic arrows. Don't mind if I do. There's another treasure chest up here. Stop giving me potions of magicka. I don't need those. Oh, there's a trap here. Somewhere. Oh, God! Oh, God! Was that you? How dare you? Okay, that... Great. Where was the pressure plate? I literally jumped over and it triggered. No, it's Lydia standing on it. <laughs> I'm not going down there. It would be foolish to attempt it. It would be foolish. You have a much better chance than I to make it through these traps. Still here. I need you to do something, Lydia. Yes, Thane. What is it? I yes, have no thing. doubt that lever turns these blades off. I shall wait here for now. Lydia, can you do me a favor, mate? Okay. I don't think I can actually get her to go all the way over there. Okay, got it. You got it? Come on, Lydia. And you can do know? this. Yeah, I want she fights well enough. I need you to do something. Yes, Thane. What is it? Wait. Yes, my Thane? Okay, got it. Yeah, but you're not why are you not moving? Okay, got it. Lydia, stop ignoring me. She's being sarcastic. Can you go here? Stop tormenting me, Lydia. She's being sarcastic with me, guys. I can't believe it. This is bloody dangerous. Who designed this corridor? Imagine if you want to go to the bathroom or something. You'd be screwed. Ah! Right, where's... Oh, I wanted to, like, send Lydia over here to do it, but it wouldn't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll come running now. Great. Do you know what? No, why? Damn it. That is the last of these traps. I tried so hard to kill them, guys. I did. Will you stream VR Skyrim? Oh, my God. So, do you know what? I actually brought uh, Skyrim and Fallout VR two years ago. Um, but VR, like, the headset is just so expensive. So, I've never <laughs> brought the bloody headset. So, I just have Skyrim and Fallout VR. And I can't play it. Uh, one day, one day, I will play it. 
I just think it would be so funny for, for me to play it. I'd, I'd really enjoy it. There's a secret door here, guys. Hmm. Where does it lead, though? Some soul gems. An embalming tool. Oh, god damn it. I hate it when I just pick up random crap I don't need from the... Oh, a glass sword! Oh. God damn, I'm taking that with me. It's the first glass sword we've found, I think. La 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 la! <laughs> Can they even get out? I think they're stuck in there. Lol. Banter. How do I get out of here? Oh! It's a fake. An imposter. A fake jump scare. Aha, that's going to open that gate. How do we open the bridge, though? Is the question. Oh, Jesus, Lydia, you spooked me. I didn't know you could get out of there. How did you get out of there? Wait. <laughs> Wait, look, you can see... Do you see her face just poke through? I didn't know if you could see it again. I'm going to leave her in here and see what happens. Be interesting. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, peekaboo. Kneecap. An adept cultist can survive one arrow to the knee. Two arrows. Oh my god, he's got a crazy reflexes despite having an arrow to the knee. Jesus. Stop healing yourself, you bastard. Get wrecked. Aha, you're paralyzed now. You can't do anything. Defeated. Where's the other one? There should be another one. He's behind... He's the smart one, hiding behind there. Is that him? I literally can't see him. I think you can hide behind the smoke, my friend. Haha! -ha! Get wrecked! VR, VR headset fund. <laughs> Thank you, man. I actually will. Like, if... if um. I will put all the donations towards it if that's what you guys want. I think I need to like I've got I've got a camera to record myself playing. So like look at Lydia, she's literally doing the biggest squat ever. I feel bad that she's left here as well, guys. Maybe I should go back. I can't believe I actually trapped her in here. She's just she's like, I'm not looking at you anymore, we're not friends. <laughs> I'm sorry. It might happen again. What are those creepy noises? The Temple of Mirac Sanctum. The Sneaky Archer. That's how you play Skyrim, man. Give yourself a trick shot perk. That would be fun. I do not know what it is Mirac learned that gave him reason to turn on his masters. But his path seems to have been a cruel one. What do you think about that, Lydia? I wonder if we will find some answers to what happened so long ago. Lydia, any comments? No? Okay, let's carry on then. Draga are my best friends. You live a solitary life, my friend. A spooky boy! Oh, I love how you just hit them and they shatter into a million pieces. Look at that, get wrecked. Don't even need to, like, aim my bow at them. I can just fire in their general direction. Like that. Lol, the boat, the arrow won't even go that far. Oh, he tried to dodge it, though. <laughs> it's like you accidentally killed it. So funny. Where are the other arrows? I've wasted lots of arrows for Bants, though. Oh, Jesus Christ. What an excellent trap. Oh, Jesus. Go on, Lydia. Finish him. Oh, yes, Lydia. Beautiful. Get wrecked. Made me bloody wet, Lydia. 
Increases stamina by 10 points. We can use that later, Lydia. Lydia, really? Oh my god, Lydia. You are a savage person. You're just trying to destroy the competition by killing Frida. Or Freya. Whatever her name is. This place is very spooky. What's up here? Oh, oh, a Draga. A dead Draga. Imagine just waking up after a thousand years and immediately getting headshot. Oh, god damn. Must have been the wind. Oh, that post saved your life, my friend. Get back. Someone there. Yes, someone is there. I'm firing arrows at them, you fool. Oh, let's let them get killed by the trap. Come on, please. No, please, come on. Where's the trap? Where's the trap trigger? Is it this one? Oh, I can't set it off. Oh, Lydia. <laughs> of course, Lydia sets it off. She's probably going to walk into it now. Oh, what? It went right over her head. I'm trying so hard to hit Lydia with a trap, guys. It's just not working out for us. Give me those two steel arrows. What's that? A burial urn. There is actually a quest you can do. Thank you for becoming a member. Raging Raven. The ragiest of all the ravens. Get wrecked. Alright, let's carry on then. Excuse me, Lydia. What was I going to say? Uh, yeah, there's a quest you can do in the Thieves Guild, uh, which basically turns all of the burial urns into... increases the percentage chance that you'll find um, loot in them. However, the quest requires you to get every single, um... How much deeper can this be? I had been told that Mirak's power was great, but to have built so large a temple. It cannot be much farther now. I feel it in my bones. How much deeper can it be, really? Ask Lydia, she knows all about that. Oh, it's a dragon! It's very pretty. Very pretty, Mirak. I have massive appreciations. Oh, I know. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself, guys. Strength dragon aspect, my favourite. Lydia, they they don't know you're here, Lydia. We're going to be safe now. Something feels wrong. There's like ten Draga coming out of the bloody walls, and she thinks something feels wrong. Well bloody observed, lady. No, how do you know I'm here? Gatekeeper. Luckily, he is a paralyzed gatekeeper. Lydia, what are you even attacking? Wait, what? What is going on here? It's like an online game when you disconnect. They were, wait they were like, oh, he's paralyzed. Let's wait until he gets up and give him a chance. Get wrecked. Finish it, Lydia. Go on, Lydia. Finish it, Lydia. Yes. Stole your kill. Wahaha. The Temple of Mirak Key. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Yes, use the Todd Howard emote. It just works, guys. Guys, if you haven't already, check out the t-shirt with the detected symbol on the front and the hidden one on the back. It's a very fun t-shirt. Lydia, look at you. You look fucking divine. Jesus. God oh, damn, Lydia. I put the hidden on the back because if you can't see them, they can't see you. <sighs> Potion of paralysis for 10 seconds. I'm going to save that with the, for my fight against Mirak. God, she keeps. I keep thinking she's from Avatar. Look at that. He also has a dragon fetish. I think me and Mirak are going to get on just fine. I love how the door is just inside the sarcophagus. Beautiful. Is this the meeting room? It looks like there's a few dead... 
Draga here. One's got a nice helmet though, that's nice. Oh, okay. It's nice, nice little tea party going on here, Lydia. Pity I wasn't invited though. Very disappointed, Mirak. I won't be sending you a invitation to my wedding. Oh, there's a I'll secret. You know the Alright, you, you do that, and I'm going to loot the place. I'm going to eat all of these ingredients raw in a moment. Trick shot perk ID 105. What? There's actually a trick shot perk. What does it do? Sam, tell me what it does. Right, it sounds fun, but I've never heard of this. I knew it. A secret passage in the dining area just opened up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just take credit for that. And really, Lydia? Just standing behind me, pretending you know what's going on, huh? She goes into the dining room. She's like, oh, yeah, I knew it, man. There's a secret passage here. I just opened it. No, you didn't. Shut up. Be quiet. <laughs> Looks very familiar. I think I've, I've gone round the wrong way. Lydia, get out of my way. I know what I'm doing, okay? Don't question me. Aha! Another room. With a trap door. How can we open this? Potion of Magicka. Mirak is clearly a mage. Well, what's what's this? I wonder if there is something here that tells the story of Mirak. Lydia just flexing on the on the grate. Ooh, I love that. Nothing but ruined books. Quiet. There is a black book of power down here. Let's save the game. Things could get very hot and spicy. I need to get a torch. I can't, can't bloody see anything. There we go. Odds on you sit in that, Lydia. Ooh. Ooh, yes. I love these staircases. It's so cool. What are we going to find deep in Mirax dungeon? More dragon fetish. My favourite. Oh, that's a big ass staircase. We better get our bow out, Lydia. Wait, why am I holding an iron shield? Let's drop that. Where's my bow? Nightingale bow. Let's charge it up with a common soul gem and a pretty soul gem. Wow, pretty soul gems literally do nothing. Let me just use 20 pretty soul gems to charge my bow. Great. Hello there, guys. Watch this absolutely epic archery shot. Oh, it's behind him. I missed. Oh yes, beautiful. Lydia, are you feeling moist? Wait, Lydia. This one will get you. Oh yes. There you go, Lydia. Boom. Oh god. I have caused a rock slide. Doesn't look very safe, does it? Who engineered this building? Oh, Jesus. Look out, skeletons. Get wrecked. Skeletons seem extremely confused. I feel like they're more harmful to themselves than anyone else, to be honest. Wait, how... How... How did the rock hit me? It was stationary. Confusion. Oh! Oh, no, it's the Death Lord! Oh, no, it's paralyzed. Come on, guys. Every, everyone, dick on the Death Lord. It's just grunting. Can't do anything. Come on, Death Lord. Come at me. We got the unrelenting full shot. We do. Ronda! Oh, yeah. Get wrecked, Death Lord. 
Come at me, bro. Oh, sorry, mate. Not today. There's only room for one dragonborn. Why are you sh waving your axe at me? Stop that at once, sir. That's rude. I will not stand for it. Yeah, you get back down those stairs. This is my my temple now. Where's Lydia, anyway? She probably got killed by some of the rocks. Bows have a 50% chance to disarm. They do. Oh! Oh my god! Bloody hell, you hurt a lot. No, no, no! Oh my god, I'm gonna have to drink a potion. Otherwise, that's... He literally kills me in two hits. I didn't realise. This is why you play a sneaky archer, my friend. Oh, that actually missed me as well. That was lucky. Stop waving your silly axe at me, you fool. You're a fool! Jesus Christ, Lydia, you almost bloody killed me there. Go on, Lydia. Why are you just staring at him? Why are we just staring at the paralyzed? Oh, Lydia likes to give them a chance. Watch this. <laughs> Lydia just got... Oh my god, I sent him into the sky. He literally died from that fall. You see, I use Lydia as a catapult. Elite Skyrim plays. Why has she got her eyes closed? The hell, Lydia? She was like... Really weird. Really weird. Oh, a, a... A circlet of illusion. I'm going to wear that to bed, Lydia. How? How? Exactly, Lydia. There's definitely something wrong here. How did you... Is there something you're not telling us, Frida? Freya, or whatever your name is. Freya. Let's save the game. Hello from Australia. Hello there. This looks very safe. There are dark magics at work here. Ready yourself. This book. It seems wrong somehow. Here, yet not. It may be what we seek. The book is here, yet not. She fights well enough. Yes, Thane. Oh, I, that was cool. Did she had a line of dialogue where she said she fights well enough for a scowl? Can't do that. Sorry. Why won't you ever take risks with me, Lydia? <laughs> Lydia's like, well, what are you doing here, so? <clears throat> I think Lydia wanted a kiss. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're probably right. When... What? All right, Mirak, calm down. Who are you to dare set foot here? Ah, you are Dragonborn. I can feel it. And yet... So you have slain Albury. Well done. I could have slain him myself back when I walked here. But I chose a different path. You have no idea of the true power a dragon born can wield. <laughs> this realm is beyond. You have no power. And it is only a matter of time before Sol's time is also mine. I already control the minds of its people. Soon they will finish building my temple, and I can return home. Send him back where he came from. He can await my arrival with the rest of Amriel. I don't want to be part of your hentai fetish, Mirak. Get me out of here, <laughs> this is so uncomfortable. Your plane of oblivion. Look at his dragon, it looks so cool. Looks like a Nazgal from Lord of the Rings. Stop tentacle raping me! It's like some really weird Mirak fetish there. He's got some kind of tentacle thing going on that I didn't want to be a part of, so I'm glad we got ourselves out of there, man. Daxman! Thank you for subscribing on Twitch. You read the book and then... 
It seemed as though you were not really here. I could see you, but also see through you. I'm not really sure. I saw Mirak on a dragon. It's like I was just really, really high and had this crazy trip. Where? Where is he? Can we reach him? Can we kill him? Somehow, reading this book took me to where he was. This is a dangerous thing, then. We should return to my village and show this to my father. Perhaps Storm can make sense of what is going on. Come, there looks to be a way out through here. The fate of the Scal. Am I following you or not? You told me that you found a way out, but you don't seem to know where you're going, so I guess I'll take the lead. Congratulations on the house down payment. Thank you so much. I feel like an adult now. It's weird. I still feel like uh, I'm I'm just going to move somewhere and going to be renting again. It's it's a weird feeling. I almost feel like I don't own the house despite putting a deposit down. It's very strange. Was that a mod on Mirak's armor? I, it might be a retexture, but the armor itself should be the same. Oh, I love that rotating door. I've never actually seen a secret rock door like that. That's really cool. Why didn't they use that anywhere else in the game? What? We must tell Storm what we have seen. Okay, let's let's go. Where is the Scal village then? I believe it's quite close to here. We must tell Storm what we have seen. You see that green light? That comes from the windstone, where my people work against their will. They must be freed soon. Okay. Sounds good. Are there any cultists down there? No. Alright, let's go to the Scout Village then. Oh, she wants me to accompany her. The Scout Village is somewhere around here though, I think. Where is it? Oh, it's here. Alright, let's just walk there ourselves then. She can just show up there when she pleases. Yeet. Come on, Lydia. Whee. We're not far away at all. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for the bits. Professor Chaos. Where am I? It's up here. God damn it. That's just fast travel. Oh, Jesus. Lydia, what's going on? Run, Lydia, run! Run from the graphic aware. What is actually happening here? Hmm. I might need to reload. Jesus Christ. Nazim has cursed the land. Oh god. We must tell Storm what we have seen. For a shaman, you fight pretty well. Who trained you? It was Scarf the Giant, our former chieftain who taught me the ways of battle. He was a great bear of a man and a fearsome warrior. I used to be terrified of him when I was a little girl. I was a restless and angry child, and Scarf taught me swordplay so that I could, as he used to say, put that fire to good use. He was a great man and a good leader. I miss him dearly. Rip. Where's your mother? She died when I was very young. She was caught in a terrible snowstorm while returning home from gathering firewood. You must understand that for the Skull, life is a constant hardship. We take nothing for granted. We cannot afford to. Between the wolves, the weather and the threats in the south, even a simple task like gathering wood for the fire can turn deadly in an instant. Man, that's a super sad story. And why stay here? Why not live somewhere safer? Oh yeah, we can be like, come home with me, babe. We are bound to this land, like a great pine with roots that run as deep as the tree is talking. I know it must seem strange to you, 
But for us, the thought of leaving our village is equally strange. The land and the skull are one. There is no other way to say it. I'll make her guide you. Bye. I'm just going to save the game quickly. I think it's this... This child just here is what's causing it. The elders talk of great sin. Let me see if I can just disable her. Problem gone. Problem gone. <laughs> Did I just disable that child? Maybe. <laughs> What's going on here? We're doing this uh, some kind of hippie Father, dance. I have returned. There is yet hope. Whoosh! <laughs> <laughs> He's dead! Oh, I don't think he died. That was so funny, God. Couldn't, couldn't resist. Father, there is still hope! Fastroda! <laughs> but I have brought someone who has seen things. I've seen stuff. He has confirmed that Mirak is indeed behind the suffering. Oh, yeah. I feared that it would be so. But how is that possible? After all this time? I fear there is too much we do not yet know. Please, tell Storm what has happened. So you have seen things, yes. My magic grows weak, and so does the barrier around our village. Time is short. Tell me what you know. I've seen Mirak. Really? How? That's how you kill children in Bethesda games. <laughs> they don't let you kill them, so you have to disable them. <laughs> I read a book in Mirak's temple and went somewhere. Mirak was there. 10 out of 10 description really going to help Stormcrags try to figure out what's going on. The legends speak of that place. Terrible battles fought at the temple. The dragons burning it to the ground in rage. They speak also of something worse than dragons buried within. Difficult to imagine, but if true, it means what I feared has come to pass. Mirak was never truly gone, and now has returned. If you could go to this place and see him, are you like Mirak? Are you dragonborn? I'm indeed dragon dragonborn. Dragonborn, that's what I was about to say. Mirak did claim to be dragonborn. Yes. Then perhaps you are connected with him. The old tales say that he too was dragonborn. What does it mean if we're both dragonborn? There can only be one. I am unsure. It may mean that you could save us, or it may mean that you could bring about our destruction. But our time here is running out. The few of us left free of control cannot protect ourselves for much longer. You must go to Sering's Watch. Learn there the word that Mirak learned long ago, and use that knowledge on the windstorm. You may be able to break the hold on our people there <gasps> and free them from control. Oh. What do you know about Mirak? Much of what was known has been lost to the ages. He was dragonborn, and yet he served the dragons. A priest in their order, highly esteemed and very powerful. Then he turned against them, becoming something they feared. He was defeated long ago, but it seems he was never really destroyed. What do you mean, free your people from control? Some dark influence wields power over them, forces them to forget themselves and act against their nature. At first, it was only during the night. But now every moment is spent building some strange shrine around the windstorm. I believe if the shrine can be destroyed, the skull will be free once more. Why do I need to learn a word of power? I know all the words, mate. 
Mirak is behind what is happening to our village. And so the knowledge she has gained as Dragonborn is at the heart of it. You are Dragonborn as well. You too can wield this power, perhaps to a better end. Hell yes. Thanks so much for the becoming a member, Karen. Really appreciate that, man. I'll make a shelter. Well, thank you. Lydia, what are you doing here? Alright, so before we go over to the stone, let's let's have a, a tad nap. Wonder if I can break into one of these houses and use the bed. Maybe I can just use Freya's bed, I don't know. If I can use her house as a little sanctuary, because we're like friends now. Is this her house? The Great Hall. That must have a bedroom in. Shaman's Hut. I don't know. Let's go in the Great Hall. I reckon that has a bedroom in. Then we can sleep. Get that little experience boost. Aha. Look at this place. Looks amazing. Good damn. I'm going to sleep here. God damn. Can't sleep there. Ooh. What's that? Are they pearls? Easy. I'm a Khajiit, guys. Get over it. I need to do things like this for immersion. Didn't think I was actually coming in here to sleep, did you? Oh, there's an entrance out of the back as well. That's interesting. Get out of my way, Lydia. Someone's already attempted to steal this stuff. Rock warbler egg. Why would you put an egg in there? It's a bit weird. All right, let's wait until morning. <laughs> one dragonborn with this power has nearly wiped us out. Let's get another one. <laughs> because that's a good idea. This one must be at least good. Yeah, I can't see the logic there either. That's a good point. Oh, there's light coming in under the door. That's a nice little touch there. If anyone can help us now, it is you. Thanks, bro. That poor child. Alright, let's head over to the Searing's Watch. I need to find a word of power there, apparently. I think if we just fast travel to the Glacier's tra Cave and then we'll just go north. I mean, southwest. Murder everyone in the village. I can't because they're, they're invincible. Unfortunately, I already tried. Okay. Oh, hello there, Hawker. Oh, there's actually a mountain here. Rip. I'm going to have to find a way past this... Come, Lydia. Come with me on an adventure. I can see the Twitch chat. I am reading it now and again. To be, to be honest, as often as the YouTube chat. Oh my god, Lydia. It's a bear. Look out, Lydia. It's waving at us. Jesus. Aha, it's paralyzed. Ha ha ha. Booty slap. Take that arrow right, a critical strike right up the rectum. Oh! Oh! My god. Wanted me dead, that bear. Where's Lydia? There she is. What is she doing? She's battling something. Oh, it's an ice wraith. I hate ice wraiths because you literally can't bloody see him. Yeah, just run, Lydia. Run. Run for your life. We can't deal with these creatures. Wait, who are you? Who are you? Wait, who are you? A wood elf? Why are you attacking me? What do you mean you found me? Who the hell is this guy? <laughs> You'll make a fine rug, cat. Wow, he's, he's angry at me. I don't know why. He's literally got an arrow through each eye, and he's just like, "Yep, I still want. I still think I can take this guy." I need. I need a, a description of why exactly you're chasing me, my friend. Come on, come at me. Enough. Oh yeah, you give up now? Great one. 
Get wrecked. What is he doing here? He's got ale, chicken breast, Nord mead. He's got, he's got skooma. He must be on like, he must be on drugs. <laughs> he's got loads of alcohol. He must just be a drunk wood elf. Yeet. Give me that skooma. That's mine, mate. We're almost at the top of this mountain, where I'm sure there'll be a giant ass dragon to kill. We haven't even killed a dragon yet this episode. What's going on, guys? It's crazy. Okay, where are we? We need to go up to here to learn the word of power. Oh, I hear a dragon. Oh, I, oh, oh, a dragon. Let's save the game quickly, because this is going to hurt a lot. Hopefully this is a fire dragon, otherwise you might be a little bit screwed. I think it may know where I am. Sounds like it's already pissed at- oh, hello. It's a fox. No, come back Mr. Fox. Come back here. Duh! Get wrecked. Mwahaha. Mwahaha. Can't even get up here. Oh my god, look at it, it's pissed. I don't know if it, it should be able to fly up this high. It's pissed at something though. Oh look, it's attacking the Draga. Yes, good dragon. Good dragon, the Draga are killing it for me. Get wrecked. It should be an easy battle. But it's literally doing the work for me. A critical strike. Where are you going, Mr. Dragon, huh? It's crash landing now. I should be able to hit it from here. Oh, yeah, that's a hit. Nice. Or should I just let the Draga take it out? Let's see who wins this battle. I think it's going to lose, to be honest. I'm surprised it can even still fly. Where are you off to, Mr. Dragon? Get back down here. Lydia just standing behind me like, yeah, I'm, I'm working really hard here. Oh, did it just crash land over there? Yeah, great. That's, that's really great. I don't even know if I want to go over there, guys. Hopefully I can kill it from here. Oh, it does hit. Okay, great. Aha, Mr. Dragon. You can't fly now, can you? That's how it feels, mate. 10 out of 10 expert level gameplay, guys. It's one dead dragon. Get wrecked. Give me your soul. Give me that soul, man. Where's my soul? No soul for me? What's going on, Lydia? We didn't get a dragon soul. Uh, meanwhile, all the Draga down there really confused about what's going on. Aha, look at this expert level sneakiness. Mirak is there. What do you mean Mirak is there? A chitin helmet of restoration. I don't need that. Another glass sword. Glass swords everywhere I look, mate. Iron sword of burning and scorching. Oh, that looks sick. Is that Mirak's body, do you think? Wouldn't make sense that he was here. Alright, so we have this word of power. Now. Bend will. Now we can go around the stones and unlock some secret powers. Did we actually look in the uh, chest? I think we did, didn't we? Yeah, I did. Okay, let's fast travel to the stone of power we need to go to first. 
each stone of power basically unlocks a secret power you can use, I think, once per day. Some of them are super powerful. I did do a video about them already. Oh, we can't fast travel because there's enemies nearby. And I thought I skipped the entire area. It takes a strong will to command the dragon's soul. Hello? Perhaps you aren't as powerful as you think. Oh, Jesus Christ! I went right through my bloody head! God damn! Get out of here. Lydia, meanwhile, is flanking them. Literally climbed down the mountain just to flank them. Woo! Look at this break dancing white walker. That's right, get Rex up. An arrow to the kneecap, my friend. Yes, Nazim is triggered. You haven't killed Mirak yet, so he steals your dragon soul. That's annoying. I guess he does that on everything on the island, I seem to recall. How dare he take my souls? That was my soul. One does not simply steal another dragonborn soul. Right, we should be able... Oh, God, there's more. Get wrecked. Look at them, they're so lost. <laughs> Good fight, bro. High five, Lydia. High five, high five. Boom. High five. Right, let's, let's get the map out, and then we'll fast travel to... The... Windstone. It's Mr. Steal Your Dragon Soul, exactly. You were right, Josh. I never imagined this day would come. Are there any priests here? No? Where's the bend wheel? Uh, magic, shouts, bend wheel. Your voice bends the very stones to your will. As it gains power, animals, people, and even dragons must do your bidding. Oh, wow. Was that... I didn't think... I thought I missed. I thought the range wasn't long enough. There we go. We should have gained a new power from that as well. Easy, mate. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's... It's Mirax tentacle dreams. Come back from the dead to taunt us. We've doomed these people to oblivion. Lydia! Oh, my God. She's so bold. Yes, Lydia. Go for it. Come on, Lydia. We must kill Mirax Hentai Nightmare. You got this, Lydia. It's just whipping her. Oh, yes, Lydia. Whip it. Oh, yes. Look at that. Right in the kneecap. The Achilles heel. Look at that, Lydia. Right in the Achilles heel of the lurker. What a creepy hentai beast. High five, Lydia. Watch it. What in wonders am I doing out here at this hour? It's, it's only 3 p.m. This is both fascinating and terrifying. I'm terrified too. Who even are you anyway? You look like you have a lot of money. Do 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 do. Wait, how can I... I can't kill you, really? Why not? Oh, God. <laughs> A few people have witnessed this murder. <laughs> Don't mind me. I helped you all. Stop following me. Leave me alone. <laughs> this is both fascinating and terrifying. I'm terrified. What can I say? For white run. Exactly. <laughs> Mirax fetishman. His slaves of have come to fulfill our fantasies. It's been many winters since my husband returned to Okay, thanks. Thanks for telling me that. Oh, you live here? 
All right. I came here to study the history of Solstheim. It's the skull of the treatment of the nearly out of hold. I wonder if he was in a law book and that he wrote actually about the scow. You do find that sometimes like you meet people um, in the game and then you later like you play a game later on in the Elder Scrolls series and that same person who was researching these these uh, like the certain race in Skyrim um, has written a book about them. So it's quite cool. It's a fork. If anyone can help us now, it is you. Got you. You have prevailed. I can feel it. Your people are free. So it is. You have proven yourself an ally to the Skull. And so the Skull shall be allies to you. Lucky, really. I could have betrayed you. What do we do now? If you have released the Windstone and broken the hold on my people, perhaps you can do the same for the rest of Solstein. I doubt it will fully stop whatever Mirak is doing, but it may slow his progress. That's not enough. I need to stop Mirak now, old man. I cannot help with that. None here can. You will need the knowledge Mirak himself learned. You will need to learn more about this black book. So you, you can help me then, because you just told me what to do. Tell me more about this book then. Mirak had this? This does not look like something of the dragon cult. It is a dark thing, unnatural. I would have nothing to do with it. But the dark elf wizard, Neroth, he came to us some time ago asking about black books. I believe he knows a great deal about them. Perhaps too much. Seek him out to the south. Be cautious, dragonborn. There is something else at work here. Spooky! What do you know about these black books, my friend? Our traditions do not speak of them, but they and Mirak are connected. You read a black book and saw him. Ten out of ten logic the there. power comes from the same dark source as that which corrupted the Windstone. <laughs> but beware, you are now walking the same road as Mirak. This is the remastered version, but also with lots of graphics mods. Uh, the mod list is in the description if you're interested in checking it out there. Why do you think this Neolath can help me find the black books then? He also is searching for them. In fact, he has already found one. He showed it to me when he came here. It was very like the one you found in Mirak's temple. A thing of dark magic, not of the Allmaker. Who is this Allmaker anyway? You are an outsider, and I don't know if I can make you understand. I will try. The Allmaker is the maker of all things, and it is from the Allmaker that life flows like a great river. As all rivers must return to the sea, so all life returns in time to the All-Maker. I know our ways must seem strange to you, but the nine gods of the Empire are equally strange to us. What's your role among the Skull? As shaman of Skull Village, I serve as both a guide and a healer, as well as a keeper of traditions. I also remind the Skull to live as one with nature and to honor the will of the Allmaker so that we will be worthy to join him in death. Sounds like a really fun life. What happened when I shouted at the Windstone? The power of the stone had been corrupted. It was the source of the influence that had taken control of the skull. Your shout broke whatever evil will controlled the stone and restored its true nature as a conduit of the Allmaker's gifts. Very well. Freeing the other stones will diminish whatever dark influence is spreading across Solstein. We must end Mirak's hentai fetish. Yes. 
He tells us about the other stones, and each one unlocks a power, I believe, actually. We have the first power here. Let's have a look. Powers. Beast form. No. Citizen Lantern. Night Eye. No. Don't think we do, actually. Do we not get one from the wind turn? The windstone. Hmm. I thought, well, maybe we only get them from the other stones. I can't remember. Thanks for the donation, James. Appreciate it, man. Just tried to dodge a dragon fire breath underwater and still got burned. 10 out of 10 Skyrim mechanics. Yes. If you also use the slow time shout just before you get burned, you end up taking like five times as much damage, which is quite funny. So we now need to go to Tell Mithrin. But let's go to the Sunstone first because I recall this power is pretty groovy. And we can smash it and learn a new power from that. And then I can show you what I was talking about. Oh, the Windstone has a power. You just need to touch the stone. Oh, okay. I forgot about that. I just left and got distracted by assassinating that guy. Pop! Come on, Lydia, let's kill everything. I'm ready. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yes, 30 times damage. Get wrecked, son. Kill it, Lydia. Kill it. I literally do no damage. I'm going to have to get my bow out. Oh my god, I've been taken by the tentacles of Homerus Mora. Where's my bow? Here it is. Look out, Lydia. It has tentacles. Oh god. Lydia, we're not going to be able to sleep together after this. You're clearly infected. Cleanse the sunstone. Activate. There we go. Now we have sun flare power. That was the thing I was on about earlier. Gold ruby. Oh, yes. Something you need. Who the hell are you? Jesus Christ, don't approach me naked. Reaver Outlaw. Real surprised when I pulled that knife from my boot. Excuse me? What did you just say? Um, Guard of Ravenrock. Why are you standing next to outlaws and not doing anything about it? It looks like the Sunstone has brought all these people together. So let's have a look. We have a new power. Sun Flare. A hundred point fiery explosion centered on the caster does more damage the closer the target. Single use must be required at the, acquired at the sunstone. All right, let's go to Tal Mithrin. We'll use this later when we need to. Save game. The land of the mushrooms. Now one and a half the people in this place are high. This guy lives in a giant mushroom. How crazy do you need to be to live in a giant mushroom, guys? It's like one of my favorite architectural things in the Elder Scrolls series. I'm just going to ignore their conversation, but it's quite an interesting quest if you do do it. Tell Mithrin. Thank you so much, Phil. He says there's a fifth. Oh, let's float upwards, yes. Someone else is using that. Lydia! I wanted to be the first person to float upwards. Wee! Hell yes. Look at that. God damn. There's a 50% chance that Merrick takes each dragon soul. I thought it was 100%, but thanks for letting you me know. Again. Didn't I see you in Ravenrock? You did. And I know where to find black books. You refer to the tomes of esoteric knowledge that old Hermaeus Mora has scattered throughout the world? Is this somehow connected to your search for Mira? The very same, same tome. I found a black book and I need to find more. Found one? Yes. And you read it too, didn't you? Don't try to deny it. You've got the look. I can see it now. I literally told you. Dangerous knowledge is still knowledge and therefore useful. Usually turns out to be the most useful in my experience. You very dodgy, Neolith. I have to know what Mirak knows if I want to stop him. 
Now that is a dangerous path indeed. Hermaeus Mora gives nothing away for free. You may end up like Mirak, of course. Two power mad dragonborn. It could be very interesting. Indeed. Do you know where I can find another black book? Oh yes. They're not hard to locate once you know how to look for them. I have one here that I've been using to locate more. You have a black book? We already know he does, but yet I will ask this anyway. Yes, I haven't been idle while this fascinating madness engulfed Solstein. But my book isn't what you're looking for. I'm quite sure it is unconnected with this Mirak. But I do know where to find a black book that can help you. So, you know where to find the black book. The one that's connected with Mirak. Yes, I think he's already told us this like three times now, but okay. Yes, I do. I haven't been able to get it, though. But maybe together we can unlock the secrets the Dwemer left behind. Oh, this quest is very long, but awesome. The Dwemer. What do they have to do with this? Forbidden knowledge was somewhat of a specialty of the dwarves, eh? You don't think they would just leave it alone? It seems the ancient Dwemer discovered this book and took it to study. I found their reading room in the ruins of Nachardak. The book is there, but it's sealed in a protective case, which I wasn't able to open. Hmm. But perhaps the two of us together will be able to get at the book. To Nachardak, then. Follow me. Let's go. Neolath. To Nachardak. Come, Lydia. You must be my wing bitch. You can see the video, right? Oh, yes. Lol. I thought I had the unrelenting force out and I was going to push him off, but it didn't go very well. What's that? Let me try. Where's Lydia? Lydia? Save the game. Oh. Oops. Yes, Lydia. Yeah, she's fine. That's much faster, Lydia. You should do that more often. It actually kills you if you don't use the lift. <laughs> there probably is a mod for that, actually. I don't think he knows, does know what you're doing. Master Nailath. Why do you suddenly got an eye patch on? Oh, he's got sunglasses. He looks like a cool dude out here in the Ashdorn, doesn't he? Come on, Nailath. Take me to the ruins. The Dwemer ruins. Yes, yeah, so you're going to hate this Dwemer dungeon. I actually, I know it quite well. From uh, previous, when I previously played it. But I thought it was like one of the coolest dungeons in the game though. I think the more annoying one is the one you need the gems for to unlock the Black Bow of Fate, I think it's called. Which I did a video on. One of the unique weapons you can get. These outlaws still just chilling out here. Neolath isn't very talkative, is he? He's just silently walking. You thought there was a 25% chance. I guess we'll have to look it up in the Wikipedia now. So that is the ruin in the distance there, guys. Where we need to change the water levels. Oh! Are you okay, mate? Jesus Christ! Careful! Lydia, look out! God damn. Master Neolath is not messing around, is he? Get wrecked. Easy, mate. Any more Ashborn? Can't see any more. Alright, guys. Before we go into this dungeon, I think I'm going to stop the stream here for today. I will probably... Well, I might stream later tonight, but I'll probably end up being streaming tomorrow. Um, and we'll do, like, another long stream tomorrow. I'll let you know on Twitter. If you follow me on Twitter when it's going to be um but subscribe press the bell icon and just make sure you're notified 
um, and make sure your phone is allowing notifications and then um, your phone will just tell you basically when I'm next live streaming but um, I I'm going to probably live stream tomorrow around the same sort of time as it is today and I hope you guys really enjoyed this stream but I think this is like a good place to to stop before we enter puzzle dungeon as I like to call it but uh, yeah check out the new merchandise if you haven't already it's really awesome and um, I will see you in the next video have a fantastic day and oh guys um, the second channel as well is where I upload previous live streams that are not Skyrim related so if you want like just up me playing other games basically um, check that out and subscribe to that as well um, if you've made it to the end of the video and watched the whole live stream guys I do really appreciate it you're awesome and I'll, I'll see you again tomorrow goodbye